objectives and question answers of the lesson, Electricity and Circuits. Class, 6 Science. Fill in the blanks. In a incandescent blub, the dash, heats up and begins to glow. Filament. A dry cell contains dash, ingredients. Solid, semi-solid. Electric current will flow if the circuit is closed. An electric current will flow through a wire made of aluminium. Dash is used for large scale generation of electricity. Flowing water. Solar cells use dash to produce electric current. Sunlight. By convention, electric current flows from dash terminal of the source to its dash terminal. Positive and negative. People operating electrical equipment are asked to wear rubber gloves to safeguard against electric shocks. Choose the correct option. Which of these is a part of a dry cell? Terminals Which of these produces electricity? A. Car battery which of these is necessary for an electric current to flow through a circuit? D. Source of electricity A dry cell has D. One positive and one negative terminal. Which of these is a good conductor of electric current? B. Graphite. Which of these works when an electric current flows through it? A. An electric torch. Support wires, filament, glass mount, inert gas would be the components of B. An incandescent bulb. An electric switch is a device that is used to B. Open, or close, an electric circuit. A material that is not a conductor of electricity is called C. An insulator. Which of these devices is also referred to as a key? B. An electric switch. State whether the following statements are true or false. A dry cell does not contain chemicals. False. An electric circuit is not complete without a source of electricity. True. Primary cells can be recharged. 
false. Two or more cells put together is called a secondary cell. False. A rubber band is a good conductor of electricity. False. Give two examples of places or appliances the following could be used. A dry cell. Remote. Clock. A secondary cell. Laptops. Mobile phones. Electric switch. Fan. Oven. Conductor. Electrical wires. Electrical connectors. Insulators. Plugs. Gloves. Explain the following terms. Electrical appliance. Things that run on electricity, have electric current passing through them are called electrical appliances. Example, oven. A source of electric current. A device that can be used to produce an electric current is called a source of electric current. Electrical circuit. A path for an electric current to flow is called an electric circuit. An electric switch. A device that is used to open or close a circuit is called an electric switch. Insulator. A material that does not allow electric current to pass through it easily is called an insulator. Short answer type questions. Name a source that uses chemical reactions to produce electric current. A dry cell or batteries uses chemical reactions to produce electric current. Name an appliance that uses electric current to produce light. An electric bulb uses electric current to produce light. Name a kind of cell that uses sunlight to produce electric current. Solar cells uses sunlight to produce electric current. Name a device that is used to make or break an electrical circuit. Electrical switch is used to make or break an electrical circuit. What name is given to cells that cannot be recharged? Primary cells cannot be recharged, and have to be thrown away, once they have been used up. What is a dry cell? What is inside it? Why is it useful to us? Dry cell is a very convenient source of electric current. The dry cell contains dry or semi-slid ingredients. The dry cell consists of an outer covering made of zinc. Inside the zinc container, a paste of ammonium chloride is present. Inside the paste, a cardboard container containing powdered manganese dioxide is placed. The cardboard container has microscopic holes in it. Such materials are called porous materials, through which a chemical reaction takes place between ammonium chloride paste and powdered manganese dioxide. A rod, usually carbon, with a metal cap is dipped into the manganese dioxide. The whole thing is then sealed, so that the contents do not spill out. Dry cells are used in remote controls, toy cars, torches, etc. How does an electric torch work? Explain with the help of a diagram. An electric torch has one or more dry cells inside it which acts as a source. The cells are connected through a switch to a small bulb. When the switch is pushed to on position, the circuit is complete and the bulb glows. When the switch is pushed to off position, 
the circuit is incomplete, and current cannot flow through the circuit, and the light goes out. One class of materials allow the flow of electric current, and some do not. What are these different classes of material called? The class of materials that allow electric current to flow through them are known as conductors. They consist of free electrons and hence allow the flow of charges through them. The other class of materials that do not allow electric current to flow through them are known as insulators.